Okay, we are going to talk about um, Amazon advertising with um, your merch. And so uh, I've only tried this a couple of times and, you know, I just read up of all the tutorials that were given to us. And so um, that's what I'm going to be going to. So if you have your account and you, this is the page you'll come to, it'll say Amazon advertising at the top. And then we'll have here uh, the name of it, your store and everything. And then it says choose your campaign type. Um, when I was reading, it said for when you do this, it said that um, you need to start with uh, just do sponsored products. And that was the example that they gave um, directly from Merch by Amazon. Okay, so what you'll do is uh, this says sponsored products, promote individual product, and use keywords to target shoppers searching for items like yours. So push continue. And then here, this is campaign name right here. And this says a campaign name is only visible to you. So uh, choose a name that you can easily identify and refer back to you later. So no one's going to see this campaign name. So um, I'm going to do a shirt over uh, video production, one of my shirts that I have, video production. And so I'm just going to name it video production for now. And it has a, um, a start date and an end date. And so since I'm just learning this, I'm just testing things out because I really, I'm not for sure how to do it, do it all. So let me spell production right here. And then, okay, so today, September 24th, my end date, I'm just going to make it for uh, three days because, um, let me see here. So I'm going to make it to September, how about September 27th here. And then my daily budget is, when I was reading and I was watching a lot of videos, a lot of them were doing 5 to $10 a day. I'm just going to do $5 a day. And then instead of automatic, and then here's your two options here. You can do automatic targeting, which Amazon will target your ad to all the relevant shopper searches based on your product information. Manual targeting, choose keywords to target target shoppers, shopper searches, and set custom bids. Um, so I'm going to do manual targeting because this is what I've, from seeing other videos, this is what seems what was working best for other people. Um, but I'm still working on it. Okay. So now you um, come down here and you need to uh, pick, you need to pick um, an ASIN. So what you do is you go to the store, I mean not to the store, but to a listing, and this is one of my shirts, so it's just really crappy shirt, but it's been selling. It's been selling, so I wanted to use it anyways. So what what you do is you come down here, just, I have it, you know, it's ranked 3 million, it's not really a top seller. Um, it's just priced at $14.99, but um, you just come down here, I pick men's, you pick a, a color, you can actually pick any color you want. Maybe I'll pick red. And then I'll come down here and I'll pick a size. So I'll, just, I'll usually come just put male, extra large. Just a simple design. Then I'll come over here and refresh it at the very top. And then what you do is you go to um, the very top of your listing. Let me see here if I can bring this down for you guys so you can see it. Yeah, you'll come right here. And you will highlight this first um, num this first thing right here. All right, you get that right there. So you need to copy and paste that. So copy that. All right. Now let's see here. All right. Now um, we go back to our Amazon um, page, right? and then we put in the ASIN right here. And we right click, push paste in there, and then we push search right here. And then um, I just been pushing add. I haven't been adding variations. I just been pushing add. So it adds it right here. And so this is the product that we are going to promote. And then you scroll down further. And then you start this keyword bidding thing. And um, I had a lot, there was a lot of ways to do it this is for let me see here let me read this to you guys so you guys will know uh the default bid applies to all clicks unless you set a different bid for a keyword based on the bidding strategy and the placement increase you choose your bids my charge so what the bidding is or what i've been learning is that 
say you and another person have a similar shirts or you know y'all you are using similar keywords if they have a higher bid number then they're they're gonna win and their shirts gonna get showed more than you, you yours will so that's kind of like what I think that it means okay so but I heard a lot of people said to start around I think they said 15 to 25 cents to test it out and so I'm just gonna start I'm just gonna keep it at 25 cents um, this one says bid um, let's see. Let's see what this is. I've never done this. Bid increases the opportunity for your ads to show in the top of the search results. When a bid plus is turned on, Amazon will increase the bid for your eligible bid ads. I don't want them to increase it. I want to just leave that 25. So the next thing you need to do is in, uh, they have suggested keywords, and these are just really plain and simple keywords. I only want shirts that are related to my shirt. So I'm going to enter the key keywords. So let's enter here. You know, I just want it to be broad. You can do phrase, exact. Um, well, maybe I'll use exact phrase. The phrases. I'll just use phrases. And you can put in video production. Um, you could put in production team. You could put in um, video production t-shirt. Let me see here. Sometimes um, when you're entering these words, sometimes usually Amazon will uh, generate a list for you here and you can just pick one of those words but I don't see it's not currently doing that so you can do video uh, production shirt now I'm not sure if this is right but this is um, what it when it was giving me the choices early of the suggested phrases it was giving it was making making them like this with t-shirt and shirt you could do uh, funny video editing because it has to do with production if I need it editing shirt um, funny uh, photography photography shirt funny video -ography. And you might be wondering, you're like, how do you know all this? Um, well, this is just when I always mention, like, make a shirt or make something that you know. I know about videography. I know about video production. So that was the whole reason why I made this shirt. So I know all these, you know, some terms that I can use, you know, for it. Um, so let's see here. Maybe funny uh, video production. Can do um, maybe. Um, let me see here. Video production, photography, funny photographer. You can put in photographer shirt. Um, okay, so that that just gives you an idea how you can keep going. Okay. Now um, you add these keywords. It says you can add up to a thousand, but I'm just kind of leaving it to you know a few of these. And so uh, it says suggested bid. Let's see here, phrase match type it says uh, keyword match type allows you to fine tune which customer searches trigger your ad. The broad contains all the words in order and includes plurals, variations, and related keywords. Uh, phrase contains the exact phrase or sequence of keywords. Um, exact exactly matches the keyword or sequence of words. So I'm just going to do phrase for now. And then it says suggested bid. Suggest bid is a bid range or calculated from a group of winning bids for ads that are similar to yours. So video production, it says there's only 10 cents for a bid, uh, 14 cents for the video production shirt. Funny photography, thirty-four cents. Um, 
Let me change it then. I don't know. Let's change it to 34 cents. And we're just, you know, we're learning all this. We'll change it to 34 cents. Um, 26 cents. So, and then the rest of this stuff about negative phrase, optional negative keywords, and um, uh, other ones. I haven't learned those yet. So, I'm just going to leave it as that for now. And now I'm going to, all you have to do is push launch campaign and it's done you launched your campaign it's going to be from september 24th so through, through september 27th uh five dollars manual targeting one product um 10 keywords and so let's just try that and see what it does we'll come back and revisit this on um september 27th after it's done so hopefully on September 28th, I can put out a video for you guys and just we can recap and see what's been done. All right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.